Hello, this is Dinah Lane from the Harwich Channel, and I'm here today with uh, retired fire chief Norm Clark. Good morning. Good morning. We are here at the uh, old, the, the old Bank Street old Firehouse. Old Bank Street Firehouse, as right. it's called, and you've been doing a lot of work here since the last time we visited you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's it's. Uh, it's funny. It's my it's my old firehouse. The way this is where I started my career. So this is a special project That's for me. That's really great. Um, uh, it's hard to believe that we're less than a year uh, from when we really started this project. Mm -hmm. um, we've come a long, long way with a lot of hard work and a lot of cooperation. Um, funding uh, has been uh, very appreciated from the town. We did we got some money last uh, week at town meeting. Mm -hmm. We're very grateful for the uh, CPC funding. Yes, Housing Trust has given us some money, uh, and we have uh, really accomplished. Uh, we've met a goal of getting the upstairs, the three apartments, all framed out. Right. They're so the Housing Trust is interested in particular because of the apartments. Absolutely, right? we're going to be a able to housing uh, situation as well as a. We all, fire station. we all know the, the problem with housing on Cape Cod. So we're yes. going it, it may sound small, but it's not. It's a huge step to provide mm -hmm. some workforce housing in Howwich in an old firehouse. So it, it's, it's really a, a great accomplishment. Uh, mm -hmm. We're ready for rough plumbing and rough uh, mm -hmm. wiring upstairs. And mm -hmm. that, was a, that was a goal. It was hard to imagine less than a year ago uh, yeah. when we first walked into, into this firehouse to see the condition. But um, again, it's a great project. Uh, the doors are in, uh, the beautiful uh, uh, doors that we modeled after the yes. original doors. Uh, we've started doing some framing on the first floor to accommodate the wiring and plumbing for the second floor. Mm -hmm. And we look forward to uh, continuing on. I know a lot of townspeople have been taking note of all the changes. Yes. Here uh, at the fire station as well as at the coal <clears throat> preserve next door. So We, we felt committed uh, uh, in two ways. We felt committed to really partner with uh, Mike Locke and yes. the Howard Conservation Trust because mm -hmm. it's, it's not two projects, it's one really great mm -hmm. project. And it, it took a little, I'll, I'll, I'll be real straight with you, it took me a little bit to kind of understand that what that relationship was gonna be, mm -hmm. but um, I've used the term before and I'm gonna use it again. We are, we are the classic odd couple, Mike Locke and myself. <laughs> we are joined at the hip on this project, we mm -hmm. work in tandem. Um, he's mm -hmm. helped us here, I sit in on their weekly meetings, uh, it's just a great uh, project for the town. It is. This is going to be a special, special place when it's done, uh, completely done. Hopefully, we're hoping, you know, late fall, September. Uh-huh. Okay. Because... Of 2024. You, you, oh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, we're on a tight schedule. Uh, the, the, the firehouse should be completed, we're hoping, uh, you know, September-ish, mm -hmm. uh, but due to... Uh, planning requirements and zoning requirements. Yes. We have to have the parking lot all done. So that's where oh. we're working together. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 really the final phase of this will be getting the whole outside done uh, as per the planning board requirements. Mm -hmm. So over the summer, that's where you're gonna see a lot of construction out here. The, uh -huh. the, the heavy equipment's coming off the bog and that's an amazing, I can't wait for folks to get out there. It, it truly is amazing. It's been transformed. It's been transformed. Yes. Uh, and it, it's, again, I'm gonna, it, it, I keep using the word special. It's special. It's unique. You won't go anywhere and have this experience of uh, seeing a 100-year-old firehouse on a property with a, uh, a conservation area. That's, it's for everybody. It's, it's really a real good. collaboration, and just the collaboration itself is of note. It, yeah. You know, yep. We're very proud of that. The We're, process that you've been going through, yep. I think, is wonderful yep. and, and, and we, inspiring to everybody. Well, thank you. Um, um, it's important to all of us, uh, I think. Uh, we were determined. I think there were some some doubts, maybe even some <laughs> naysayers that said they couldn't do it, and uh, we've done it. You've uh, proven. We, we are ahead of schedule. Yeah. Uh, again, funding is what we, we run up against funding issues, yes. and yes. Uh, but we're 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 making that move along uh, to get this complete. Uh, and you're but, still looking for donations. Absolutely. Yes. We're absolutely looking for donations mm -hmm. uh, through the, uh, either H, the Conservation Trust website or the Howard's Fire Association website for the Bank Street Project. Mm -hmm. um, we have public funding, uh, which is huge, but it's not 100% of the funding. Mm -hmm. We're still having to raise money uh, to finish out the project. <clears throat> okay. So when people give donations, should they earmark it for one or the other of the projects? I know it's all one together. So is it one 
one contribution that goes to everything? It is not. Or can it, they it, designate it, for it, different, it, different if you purposes? If you want to contribute to the, to the old firehouse project, it would be to the, you'd have to note even on the, we have the uh, separation for the fire association too. Mm -hmm. If you make a donation, you need to note that it's for the Bank Street Firehouse. Okay. And then if, if you want to make a contribution to the Howard Conservation Trust, you would make that directly to them. And that would go for the work over there? Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. Well, that sounds great. And you are the project manager. I am. Um, it's been, uh, um, I haven't been retired that long, but uh, I'm not one to sit still. Uh, so Clearly. This, when, when, this, when this came uh, to be, it was really, a, really a, a proud moment for me to be able to uh, have some time yeah. now to be yeah. able to keep uh, to bring this so uh, for future generations of and not just here, firefighters yeah. but of, of the people to see their old firehouse. You're here virtually every day, right? Uh, about yeah, I'm here most mornings. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. I take Sunday off. That's great. But, uh, but uh, oh, okay. most mornings I'm here. On Sunday you rest. I rest okay. on Sunday. Perhaps. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and we and we've okay. really appreciated uh, you know Channel Eight in the uh, to do this for us to get the word out because lots mm -hmm. of times people don't know what's going on here. Uh, right. I've had folks walk in, and I'm, I'm thrilled to have people, yes. if they see my car here, come on in. I'll mm -hmm. show them what's going on. So what we really appreciate There has the, been a lot of interest and yeah. curiosity. Yep. And it's great that people are beginning to realize now what's happening here yep. because it is going to be transformative yep. for we're the not town. Gonna, we're not, yep. not going to let anybody down. This is going to be a great yeah, project it when is. it's done. It is already. Thank you so much, Norm. Thank you. Thanks for all your work and your time to talk to me today. Thank you very Thank much. You. This is Dinah Lane from the Harwich Channel. Hello, and now we are here with Michael Locke from Hi, HCT, of course, Harwich Conservation Trust, and he is the project manager of the outside part of this project at Coldbrook. Mm. So it's wonderful to be here. Fabulous day, and it shows how much has been accomplished since we were here last. Yes, for this sure. It's amazing. It is amazing. This Coldbrook Ecological Restoration Project right here on Bank Street. Yes. In the heart of Harwichport. <laughs> Yeah. Trail's closed right now until the fall, but we got here by special arrangement. We might see some vehicles going back and forth, <laughs> right. but we're going to do our best. You can see behind us this trail, and there's a stream crossing being finished with mm -hmm. a, a footbridge, and it will be part of this new half-mile all-persons trail, a wheelchair-accessible mm. trail. Mm. What a wonderful feature for that everybody. It is fabulous mm. and it looks amazing. It looks yes. so smooth and wonderful and accessible. Yes. Which is really what we want. Yes, right? yes. And I think it'll be great for <clears throat> folks uh, that have physical challenges as well as mm -hmm. uh, folks that uh, have youngsters and still in strollers. Uh -huh. This surface yeah. will uh, accommodate folks that want to yes. take a, a loop with their, their, young, their youngsters. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's great for all ages. We're really excited too because it honors the legacy of Bob Smith. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Founding trustee. He was the founder. Yes. Yes. And he was president. Marvelous. For the first 27 years. Yes. And in his later years, he was in a wheelchair. Yes. And so here he was working on behalf of Harwich Conservation Trust to save so many lands that he never got to set foot on. Yes. And so now to honor this him. This is a real tribute to him in, as in, well. In that yes. way, to have, the, have the ability for folks in wheelchairs to experience the outdoors in this way yeah. is really wonderful. Yeah, you can hear a truck, I think, in the background. Yes, yes, I think there's a truck coming towards <laughs> us. <laughs> there's a lot going on here. Yes. Yeah, and we're, we're working on finishing the ecological restoration portion, which is rewilding the wetlands yes. mm -hmm. and Coldbrook itself, which is flowing freely for the first time in over a century. It's astounding. It is amazing. What you have yeah. been able to accomplish, yeah. yeah. And big thanks to Town of Harwich Community Preservation Committee mm -hmm. and the town meeting voters. Yes. Who yes. actually authorized funding for this wheelchair accessible trail loop and boardwalk. Um, it's really amazing to see so many partners making yes. this project possible. And again, when the trails open in the fall, everyone will be able to experience it. Well, the whole project has been very highly regarded, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and that has been helpful in terms of support. Absolutely, and of and course, our partner, uh, the nonprofit Harwich Fire Association, yes. we'll talk more about in a, in a minute, 
mm -hmm. relative to the parking area and the scenic overlook and the trailhead right. and of course their their amazing firehouse restoration. And you're collaborating so closely with them yes. on all of these things yes. because they're right cheek by jowl. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And it'll be a wonderful opportunity for people to come over here and experience all of these. Yes. All of these wonders yes. here in the Colebrook as well as the new fire station. It's amazing. It is. Yeah. It is. Congratulations on what you've accomplished so far. Well, you know Thank what? Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. And, and really, the kudos goes out to, again, town meeting voters, all of our partners, whether it's the mm. state's Division of Ecological Restoration, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, right. all of our consultant uh, collaborators, mm -hmm. Interfluve, working on the design, mm -hmm. Sumco, Eco Restoration Contracting, mm -hmm. all sorts mm -hmm. of uh, expertise yes. coming together to make this whole project possible. Yes. Well, you've been able to call upon all the right people Yes. to make it happen. That's right. Right. Very appreciative from the town of Harwich. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you so much, Mike. Sure. And, uh, maybe we will move on to another area here. That's Talk right. A bit further. Maybe we'll hitch a ride on a front end loader. All right. <laughs> At least I'll be visible. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right? My special jacket here. Okay. Uh, thanks, Dinah. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. And now we are in the parking lot here, uh, which is soon to be completed. And Mike, can you tell us a little bit about what needs to happen here? Sure. To finish up the whole thing. Yes, this is really the final uh, capstone to this project. All the eco restoration is happening where we just were, mm -hmm. along with the uh, trail, um, the wheelchair accessible all persons trail mm -hmm. underway. Mm -hmm. And next, we're still raising funds to complete the parking area, the trailhead connector, and a scenic overlook, which is uh, just uh, behind us. That will be created right. out of this um, area where you see all the work trucks at uh -huh. the moment. Uh -huh. We'll be going out to bid soon. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we receive the contractor responses, we'll get a sense of uh, the total cost. I did want to do a shout out mm. to the town meeting voters on May 6th, who approved $250,000 in Community Preservation yes. Act recreation funds. Uh, mm -hmm. to really give us a jump start. Yes. Um, so yes, that was a good wasn't start. Wasn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. And so this construction, completion of the parking area, the trailhead connector, and the scenic overlook mm -hmm. will take place over the summer, mm -hmm. and we'll be able to open the whole site uh, in the fall. And how many people will you be able to accommodate in this parking lot once it is completed? Do you have an idea? Uh, it's about uh, 28 spaces, uh -huh. and that includes handicap accessible spaces mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. That's a good amount. Yes. Yes. People will really, really enjoy coming here. I think it's going to be quite a feature, quite a destination for both residents and visitors. Absolutely. Well, it'll be something to admire to start with. Absolutely. And then to enjoy. Yes. In all seasons. <laughs> In yes. all seasons, yes. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. So if folks want to learn more about our progress and mm -hmm. what we're still trying to raise to complete yes. it, yes. they can visit our website, right. harwichconservationtrust.org. Yes. Yes. That would be good. And you are collaborating, of course, with the Fire Association. We are, yes. Um, and there can be donations made to either or. That's or right. Both. That's, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we have a truck coming in. Uh, so we do. I guess we better move. Don't want to stop the progress. Thank you so Thanks, much. Dinah. This is Dinah Lane from the Harwich Channel.